Fueled by a monster 34-13-8 and 2 showing from the Joker Nikola Jokic, the Denver Nuggets were unsolvable for the Lakers. Having at one point trailed by double figures on Saturday night, the now 9-6 Nugs, who've won 7 out of their last 10, utterly flipped the switch to shift into 2023 championship mode, turning a 63-53 deficit with 126 in the second quarter into a 103-80 advantage in the fourth quarter. The Nuggets held the Lakers to under 20 points through a quarter and a half of action, equating to an uncanny 50-17 scoring run. Michael Porter Jr. has responded to criticism about his shoot-at-all-cost mindset. Mike Malone broke a record, while Russell Westbrook got revenge for being scapegoated in 2023 after being traded for D'Lo. Stay tuned. Nikola Jokic has officially changed the city of LA's name from Los Angeles to Yoke Angeles. As amidst sweeping the LeBron AD Lakers in 2023 and gentlemen sweeping them in 2024, Joker's Nuggets have won 13 of their last 14 matchups against the Lakers. The best player in the NBA, who's also number one on the MVP ladder as the favorite to win his fourth, is averaging over 30 points, 13 rebounds, and 11 assists on 67% true shooting. He's missed three of the Nuggets' 15 games, yet is still top three in the NBA in points, rebounds, and assists. He was a monster plus 39 against the Lakers, but his stat line of over 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists gave him the second most amount of 30, 10, and 5 games this season, only trailing Milwaukee's Giannis Adetokounmpo. Shooting 56.3% from deep range, Jokic is also second in the NBA in three-point percentage, only trailing Charlotte's Josh Green. There's obviously a ton of the season left, 81% of it for Denver to be exact, but that 56.3% clip from deep from Jokic is a career high by almost 20 percentage points. He's heard a lot about being a stat patter throughout his entire career, but you get proof of that not being the case when he attempts 93-foot volleyball heaves with 0.3 seconds left in quarters like he does right here. This man is a genius, but that goes to show he doesn't care about individual statistics as much as people say he does. He wants to make the most out of every millisecond that his team has to work with and doesn't care about his three-point percentage. The Nuggets' on-off differential with Jokic on the court this season is plus 23.1. This is the second highest among each season's top MVP candidates dating back to 2001, according to Sport Radar. When it comes to dealing with Jokic from an opponent's perspective, it's clear Nikola's mix of forceful strength, savvy finesse, and once-in-a-lifetime basketball IQ can drive you crazy. Take Lakers coach JJ Redick before and after facing the Nuggets as an example of how maddening the Joker can be. They're a great basketball team. They have a phenomenal player in Jokic. In some ways, they have some problems that are unsolvable at times. And, and you just you have to have your game plan, and then you have to have your adjustments ready to go. And, and I think our guys are bought into all that. Many hours later. Schematically, um, certainly we'll have to review some stuff. Clearly, the spirit to compete just wasn't there. Meanwhile, Austin Reeves was also broken post-game, stating, Last year was last year. Tonight, they beat the shit out of us. Michael Porter Jr. is averaging a career-high three assists per game. He had four of them against the Lakers, but more notably scored a game's second most only behind Jokic of 24 points, and also posted a game's second most of 11 rebounds, while being a game's second highest plus 30. MPJ has in the early going at least, overtaken Jamal Murray as this team's second leading scorer, and is shooting 50% from the field and 41% from three-point range. But what has everyone excited about Mike is how he's sharing the basketball at a rate he's never come close to throughout his career. He's finally making the extra pass, which is working wonders for the Nuggets offense, which ranks top seven in the association. Additionally, with Saturday's win, Porter Jr. owns a career regular season record of 13-3 when starting against LeBron. Among the 303 players in NBA history with 10-plus starts against LeBron, none have a better record in those games than MPJ. Against his former team, Russell Westbrook received boos at Crypto.com Arena on Saturday, but ended up getting the last laugh. Russ was a plus 17, the highest among any bench player on the night by far. He finished with a game-high 11 assists. He also had 14 points and 7 rebounds on 6-for-10 shooting from the field. 
Westbrook would soar in for this putback jam, after of which he would rub it in a little. But the best moment from Westbrook was when he hit this dagger down the stretch before having some choice words for the Laker faithful. A sweet moment of vengeance for Russ, as he may not have been a good fit with the Lakers, but he is a damn good fit with the Nuggets. Mike Malone reached 433 wins, becoming the winningest coach in Denver Nuggets history, surpassing Doug Moe while doing it in 56 fewer games than Moe. Malone built this program from the ground up since becoming head coach in 2015, becoming a two-time All-Star Game head coach in 2019 and 2023, and leading the Nuggets franchise to its first ever championship. He's responsible and doesn't get enough credit for developing 41st overall pick Nikola Jokic throughout the years, as well as turning Jamal Murray into an all-star caliber player. Malone's done an outstanding job at getting everyone to buy into their roles in addition to his elite player development. That player development is on full display this season, as Christian Browns had a breakout year, averaging 16.2 points per game, while Peyton Watson and Julian Strother have also improved dramatically as young players. Here was Mike post-game talking to Vic Lombardi about the accomplishment of becoming the winningest coach in Nuggets history. We are looking at the all-time winningest basketball coach in Denver Nuggets history, Michael Malone, who with that victory tonight surpasses Doug Moe. I know the reverence with which you hold Doug Moe. How special is it to surpass him? Well, on, on the biggest things we won tonight, as a coach, we live day to day, game by game. So to win this game after a tough back-to-back -back at home last night, that's my first thought. Uh, and then when you take a step back, Vic, and you think about Doug Moe, his name up on the rafters, uh, I think of Stan and Josh Kroenke, the opportunity they've given me and my family. I go back 10 years ago when Tim Connolly and Arturis Konnachovas hired me, uh, and then the players. You know, I'm not the coach I am without the guys like Nicola and Jamal and Michael and Aaron and everybody else that's come through that door. So it's a heartfelt thank you to every guy in my 10 years that's worn a Nuggets uniform. And lastly, my coaching staff. Obviously, those guys are tremendous. They do a great job. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my wife, my two daughters, my mother. I love you. Thank you for putting up with me. And uh, yeah, it's- uh, Hell yeah, all time wins, baby, hell yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. And, and Doug Moe, obviously, He'll always be the greatest coach in Nuggets history. He holds a special place in everybody's heart, and it's just a, a privilege and an honor to be mentioned with him. One last question about tonight, especially after the heartbreaker last night. We come in 3 in the morning. You probably go to bed at 6 in the morning. Who knows? You're down by 10 late in the second, and you go on this ridiculous run. What did you say to these guys at halftime? Get back. Get back. Get back. At first half, we gave up 27 transition points. That was a huge point of emphasis. That second half, I loved how we came out in that third quarter. Denver Nugget basketball, we got stops, we got out and ran, we set our defense. Uh, and coaching guys like Nicola and Jamal, Michael Porter played great. Uh, I'm really fortunate as a head coach. I never take that for granted. Uh, and I love representing the Nuggets each and every night. Drinks are on Marlow tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Vic. Congratulations. This was your boy D Flow, and I'll see you next video.